What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna be installing a King 2.5 lift kit on our new to us GX460, as well as some other accessories. So let's get started. We just picked this thing up a week or two ago. It's completely stock, a 2015 Lexus GX460. It's got the 4.6 V8, the KDSS system, it's the uh, base model, but we're going to be putting the crawl control in and some of that uh, terrain select in the future. But today we're going to be installing a King 2.5 lift kit with some camber upper control arms, as well as some Dr. KDSS accessories, as well as a rear tire swinging carrier and some other things. So let's go ahead and get this jacked up and get these front wheels off. All right, we got the skid plate unbolted. We actually have the sway bar unbolted as well because some of the KDSS stuff the adapters are gonna get installed and that'll allow us to droop this out. Next thing we're gonna do is get all this hardware for the coil over, the upper knuckle and the tie rod all undone and we'll start putting new parts in. So we ended up selling the Suburban. We were just kind of over the loud cam and, and uh, so we sold that. We sold the Razor as well and we ended up picking up this GX460. We got the brake lines disconnected we got the top of the coil over disconnected. Gonna get the tie rod disconnected here in a second. Just gotta get the lower bolt out of the coil over and drop it down. All right guys, we got everything unbolted. We got the old upper control arm out to align all the geometry back up with uh, the lift kit to make it all correct. We got this Camberg upper control arm that's gonna go in. So we're gonna throw that in, get the rest of the old parts out and get the King stuff going in. We're headed up to Sholo in this to do some tent camping this weekend. So hopefully we'll film some of that for you guys. Upper part of the coilover is in. I'm gonna push down, get the lower bolt in. All right, we almost got it. All right, coil over is tentatively in. We got the upper control arm back in. Got that long bolt all the way through. You can see we got the reservoir on. It is adjustable. We're gonna put the wheel back on. The last thing on this side we need to do is this Dr. KDSS um adapter for the sway bar but we're gonna get it on the ground and uh we're gonna wait and do the sway bar both ends at the same time because i need to put the jack right here and jack that hydraulic piston up so this side's all buttoned up looking awesome can't wait to test this out all right we got the front buttoned up i didn't want to show you guys a repeat on the other side so i just went ahead and knocked it out but if i get under here that is from Dr. KDSS and it's for the KDSS sway bar system. We also did, if you can see the blue right there, the collars to keep the sway bar in place. So that's something that on the Lexuses and Forerunners with KDSS that you really wanna do when you lift these SUVs. All right, we got the rear all jacked up. We're gonna go ahead and get these shocks and springs out. We also have this kit from KDSS, really cool. He powder coats everything in the King Blue. Um, that's going to adjust this track bar right here up because when you lift it, it's gonna drop the axle and it's just gonna keep the geometry correct back here in the rear. We do have to remove this bump stop because that's where the bracket goes for the reservoir. Just two bolts for that. First thing I'm gonna do is get this reservoir bracket bolted in. The instructions call for trimming a little bit of this section out because the bushing is a little bit bigger and can't really get to the nut in here. So we're gonna go ahead and trim this and get some clearance in there. Okay. 
Okay, that should be good. We're gonna get a file and clean that up a little bit. Then we'll shoot it with a little black just to prevent any rust. All right, we got the top shock nut started we're not gonna cinch it all the way down yet because we need to make an, some adjustments to be able to get the reservoir mounted here bottom isn't in yet we're gonna wait till we get the spring in to mount the bottom up all right we got this side pretty much buttoned up we have the eye box spring in uh, we have the Dr. KDSS track bar bracket in, but we don't have the track bar mounted because we still need to go do the other side. So I'm gonna do that and I will check back in with you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, we got the suspension all on. The front is sitting a little bit lower than the rear, but I haven't adjusted it yet because I threw on our spare tire carrier, but I'm headed to get the wheels and tires put on and the tire pressure sensors from these moved over to the new wheels and tires. I'll bring you guys along for that, but I wanna get the full size spare on this rack and see where we sit before I go ahead and adjust the front. All right, guys, we are here at Elite Tire. My buddy Justin owns this place. Lexus is pulled in, getting one of the most exciting parts done, the wheels and tires. Got the methods over here. We went with the Bahia Blue. I think it's gonna look really good. Woo, it's looking so good. Love that Bahia Blue. Got the fenders trimmed up. All right, guys, we made it back home. I am loving this color. Uh, they did a little bit of trimming at the shop, but we're gonna do a little bit more trimming. 285, 70, 17, zero offset. I think they are the perfect offset. Don't stick out too far. Got the spare tire mounted up here. We are actually headed to Sholo for the weekend. So we're gonna bring you guys along and show you a little bit of that trip. Not too much, cause we wanna enjoy it, but Loving how the Lexus is coming together. Right, guys it is the next morning we made it up here to Sholo for our camping trip the Lexus performed amazing you guys saw in a previous episode at the Overland Expo we had our moonshade installed on the truck camper we are using the suction cups and have it installed on the back of the Lexus here you can see we got our spare tire swung out using our table but we are loving this moonshade Remember, you guys can get $30 off your order. Moonfab.com. Use code Jensen Adventures. Just loving how this rig is coming together. Chris and Sarah's rig. We are tent camping this weekend. That's Chris and Sarah's tent. Our tent is over here. Not going to vlog too much on this trip, but... This is the wiener dog's little area. We actually lit a fire last night. We brought our inflatable kayaks and there's this trail that goes down. It's like high 50s at night and getting into the 90s during the day. But back in Gilbert, it was 116 this weekend. So we needed to get out of there, but we're gonna inflate our kayaks, do some swimming. Didn't bring my fishing poles, but we can come all the way down here, hang out, put our kayaks in the water and go explore Fool's Hollow Lake. You can see 
There's some guys out there fishing already this morning. So beautiful. All right guys, we made it back from our trip and that's gonna do it for this video. We are actually gonna be changing out the rear spring rate because if you guys noticed, when we had all of, our, all of our camping gear in the rig, the spring rate in the rear was a little too soft and the Lexus was squatting a little bit. So I already have those springs off at the powder coater, getting powder coated King Blue to match all the other suspension. Let me know what you guys think about the Lexus, how it turned out. And if you guys wanna see more of this content, we are gonna be doing probably a couple more videos on this build. And stay tuned for some upcoming videos. As you can see, the camper is off the Kodiak. So we're gonna be diving into this, pulling it all apart, seeing how extensive the water damage is, getting it repaired, getting the camper painted, getting it back on the Kodiak. So stay tuned for that, guys. That content is coming up next. Thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate you guys following along. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video. Later, guys.